Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Tuesdays. Ship with me on eBay. That's right. We have got a whopping 10. I think it's just eBay, right? Ten, yeah, man. Just eBay. Okay. Nothing on Poshmark. Nothing on Mercari. Just the good old eBay. want to say thank you to everyone yesterday who watched our heck of a long video and commented that they missed us. Yeah. So nice. We missed you too. If you are brand new here, we are full-time resellers out of Dallas, Texas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We do this every weekday. We just sit here and we ship. You watch, you yep. learn, we learn, we make mistakes, and we don't edit. So there you go. There it is. All, All right. right. We're going to pull this stuff. What do we got? 1209. 1209. 1209. So we're pulling items. There's quite a lot of plush. We sold a lot of plush yesterday. I don't know. Got it. All right. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. We work out of a closet, 220 square feet. Fifty-seven nineteen, and uh, it's working out pretty well. I am gonna write down these plush so that when okay. uh, Dan goes to get them, he knows where they are. Okay, uh, fifty-four nineteen. Uh, okay, great. Um, gosh, so much plush. Fifty-two seventy-nine. Fifty-two seventy-nine. Frozen salamander. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Thirty-five forty-nine. All right, so let us know how your sales are doing. I mean, we're trying to make $200 profit a day. That's the bare minimum to get us by. We are trying to increase that by increasing our listing habit. Mm -hmm. Haven't really been successful. And then the last thing is the pair of pants on the rack right there. Where? On the baker's rack that we touched yesterday. We Sometimes we touch something. That's so weird. And then it sells. It's like this super magnetic thing in the universe. Yeah, and that's just what happened. And then we just need these plush. One of them is in here and Hank. I'm going to get the 1564. Oh, Excuse it's me, like 1564. I'll be back. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to look one up because this Herod's bear is not where it's supposed to be. Sometimes this happens. It's okay though, we have Vendu. I do not know how to work on a PC, y'all. It is, oh, we already looked it up. It's in Dale. Dale. So our plush is, some of it's in here and then we had to move it out to the garage because it was becoming a little bit of a problem. And we have like a million bins out there. We have. 26 to be exact, A through Z, and they're full. So every time one gets a little bit lower, we bring it in here and we start putting new stuff into it. It's working out pretty well. Uh, our garage is big, but it is full of costumes. If you've seen our videos, you know. Y'all, I have to make a confession because of your comments yesterday. I downloaded Whatnot. I did. I went into exactly one show. <laughs> I don't even know who it was. And I watched it for like a second. And it's so LuLaRoe. I didn't never did LuLaRoe, but people were holding stuff up to the screen. I don't know. All I know is that we have a very large death pile that I would not mind getting rid of in one day. <laughs> I, I just, ah, uh, I have such mixed feelings about it. Ah. Uh, I'm happy for people that it works for. I'm not sure that it would work for us because I am so intent on making like the maximum money I can off the items that we buy. But the stuff in my garage is another story. I've been holding on to that stuff for like 20 years. It's a collection of costumes. 
So some of it's vintage, some of it's modern. It's just like costumey modern, like steampunk or something like that. And like, I could offload a bunch of these pretty quickly. I could also offload a bunch of them just giving them to Goodwill. Tell me your thoughts below. We're gonna have a nice cordial discussion about whatnot in the comments because we all have questions. Even in our lives, we have a, another channel where we do live listing. In the comments, people have differing viewpoints on whatnot. So I would love to know what's going through your head on that. Some people say they make tons of money. Other people are like, yeah, they're, I'm losing money. I don't want to lose money. But if I'm just auctioning off stuff I already have that my business didn't pay for, then am I actually losing money? I don't know. I can see us doing it once or twice, perhaps, maybe, under the right circumstances. Okay, we have two things going international today. Uh, no, no, one thing going international. Nope, two going international. Sorry, Canada and Australia. And one going to Puerto Rico. Uh, someone, the person who ordered this, messaged us and asked if we would send it to Puerto Rico. And it was already turned on. So I think they're just under the impression, or maybe it's happened to them, you know, people just, he buys it, and then the seller's like, no, I won't ship there. We can all ship to Puerto Rico, especially first class things. We did have an issue earlier when we were shipping to Puerto Rico something heavy. So I wouldn't do anything heavy if you don't want to lose money. Because if it arrives broken, if it's an electronic or something, and they want to send it back, you have to pay for the return shipping, and it is not cheap. So we stopped sending stuff this heavy, but this is just a little plush. So we're like, yeah, sure, we'll send it to Puerto Rico. It is part of the United States. We can send it first class. It's all good. We sent something yesterday to Puerto Rico. Everything's cool. Whoa, that thing is way bigger than I remember. <laughs> yeah. I'm really skeptical on these 10 things if we're going to make $200 profit today. We really need to because we're trying to hit our monthly goal. He's measuring me. All right, here we go. Right, I'm going to get the Hank. There's a Hank and then there's a the Herods is in Dale. Okay. He left. So we have our uh, hammocks on the ceiling here that have plush in them, and they're all named after King of the Hill characters, if you're wondering. Yes, we live in Texas. That's allowed in Texas. Okay. I have fittings all this week for the theater show I'm doing. A fitting is where you try on the costume and you make adjustments. It happens early in the rehearsal process. So we'll be filming at weird times this week. It's this guy, right? Yeah, this is Duffy. I mean, I love this. Look at this cute little guy. I didn't want to sell him. I love him. This is the rare uh, Duffy the Disney bear. I don't know. There's a whole story behind him, and he's a pirate, obviously. There you go. Oh, oh. This is from Harrods in London. Knightsbridge, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I have the... <laughs> so, I love Yorkshire tea and PG tips, okay? Only English <laughs> black tea in my house. Dan got me the industrial size Yorkshire tea, like, for restaurants. It's literally this big. It's 600 tea bags. It is so huge. I have a picture with it on my Facebook. Maybe you should insert the picture here because it's pretty great. It's, a, it's pretty epic. Okay. The first thing we sold is something we've had a very long time, and I just I sent out an aggressive offer of $20 today. I have aggressive. no idea. I have relisted this thing 100 times. Oh, I am man. sick of relisting it. It's cute. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was the brand or something. It's real cute in the pictures. I have never seen that in my I, entire life. Yeah, because you took some bad pictures of it. Anyway, <laughs> it's from the brand Vertigo, and this tag says man. it was $140. What? I don't believe it. Okay, that this came in a B&G box because we paid eleven oh eight for it, Ooh. and I just sold it for 20 Ooh. Not good. Okay, no. already... The 10 parcels trying to make $200 is not starting out great. No, but it's not. So we did B&G when we first started reselling. We got suckered. Suckered. I did send a whole half pallet back once, though. And then they closed down and kept my credit. Uh-huh. You see this face? Yep, I see it. Kept my credit. Anyway, here's Vertigo. I put... You could tell I relisted this. I started putting all the cores. I put... 
Vertigo size extra small white short sleeve ruffle front eyelet blouse cottage fairy core. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Okay, but I put it. I like it. You know what it didn't put in there? New tags, because it is. And that's fun. That's fun. Fun time. It's totally fun times. $20 out get, of our house, out of, out, of our house out of our house, out of our house, out of our house, out of our house. All right, this is going to Utah. All right, you know what? You can go right into here. Great. And it's going to be just amazing. Man, my hair is like growing. With <laughs> It's about to rain. <laughs> What? I can feel it. <laughs> it's Soon it's not gonna fit into the frame. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's weigh this guy. Five ounces. Okay. Laurel Piana. This is a great bolo brand. Excellent. Check, check, Excellent. Check it out. Excellent bolo brand. These are corduroy pants from Laurel Piana. And I will show you the tag if I can get to it. If I can't, I won't. I'm no, sorry. You should be able to. I can, I can redo it. Go ahead. I'll focus on... All right. So this brand, if you're new here, we talk about it all the time. If you're old school, you know. Uh, they make fabric that's made in men's suits, which is good. Yes. But if it's just branded Loro Piana, that means it's made at the Loro Piana place. They're not outsourcing their fabric. They're making it in-house, uh -huh. and it is worth some money. Uh, yeah, before I accepted the offer, um, I re-looked these up just because I've, cause I wanted to. The retail price on these pants is like $895. Okay, well, we sold them for $73, which... Is fine. It's okay. It's a very good return on what we paid for them. Yes. Uh, my husband just tried to take my head off. No, no, no. I had... I no, but I'm like, I don't even think it's going to hit my head. I still... I still Dang it. Okay. And um, it's a basic. They're just blue corduroy pants, right? Some of the other Laurel Piana stuff that we have that's like intricate woven sweaters and stuff like that will go for more. But 73 bucks for some corduroy pants and we're moving them quickly. That's what we do with this estate sale stuff. We move it quickly. So as soon as that offer gets kind of like Reasonable. itching near a yeah. hundred, we're we're pretty keen to take it. Because if we don't, what we're gonna do is have a an entire office full of five thousand things that can fit in this office, high end clothes that are still here, right? And we can't invest that. So another estate sale comes and we can't go because we we don't have any money. <laughs> right. <laughs> So we're already in the profit on this estate sale. We spent $800 there and we've already made, I guess this makes almost 1200 in profit. So we're into the profit. And we, I mean, and we did check the comps too when we listed those pants. So it's not like, not like we're leaving a whole bunch of money on the table <clears throat> from that, you know, insane retail price. Uh, this is Harrods. This is a famous department store in London in Knightsbridge to be exact. And people like to give this for gifts, so we always pick up Herod things. Uh, we do look it up if it has a new tag, because it's a gift. So this is gonna need to go in a box, which Dan is making. Here's the logo. It will almost always have this green, or it will have something like a bee feeder or a telephone booth. I hope you can see that. It's kind of metallic, isn't it? Herod, there it is. Okay, so this sold for 12. Like I said, we had some pretty Oh my gosh, we could walk this. Hmm? Isn't uh, that very close? I don't think so. Hmm. It's going to Texas. Anyway, 12 bucks plus shipping, which is fine. I believe this is probably in a junk bag. Anytime we have small plush, it comes in a mixed bag at the thrift store we go. So, what do we have into it? 40 cents. 40 cents. We'll take that return. You're going to see a mixture of things that we sold today, high end and pretty low end, but all of them are turning a, a really great profit, except for the first thing. Yikes. Yikes. Be lucky to break even on that one. Yeah. <clears throat> you all right there? Yeah. Mm. Remember that time you cleared my throat? I do, I'll weird. never forget it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> all right, these are still selling, you guys. The Seven for All Mankind Dojo Jeans. Yep. These are the only kind of Seven for All Mankind we pick up. 
they have the iconic seven on the back of the pocket that's how you know it's a dojo without having to go into every single pair of jeans it takes time at the thrift store here's the logo but the most important part is this seven and it can be in many different colors sometimes it's blue on blue sometimes it's white it doesn't really matter the color that is the dojo that's what you want so if you're looking at seven mankind and you're you're like taking all your time to look at the waistband to see if it's a dojo taking it off the hanger you don't need to do that uh these sold for 60 dollars sweet they've been listed a while sometimes on posh we can get 75 or 80 for them but they've been listed a while so i took the offer okay 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 still selling though these jeans are y2k and they have never stopped selling there you go flat rate envelope Care Bears. I thought this was going to go for more. I really did. Yeah. Look at this Care Bear. This is like an old school. I put pride. I put everything I'm trying to get this thing to sell. This thing is giant. Gigantic. Care Bears Cheer Bear Pink Plush Rainbow Jumbo 26 inch stuffed animal 2002 vintage. So this isn't the oldest Care Bear there is, obviously, from the 80s. Uh, this sold for $25. We, I think I had it listed at 50 or 60, but we've had it forever. Never. This is going to Iowa. Do you think there's any way to get this in a regional box? Ooh. It's kind of got a big head. It yeah. Have to go... I mean, like the, the square B. Yeah. Let me see what that would cost. <laughs> oh man, we did not charge enough for shipping. What do we charge? $12.99. Well, if it goes in that reach box, that's 13. Yeah, it's 1210 if it can fit in the B. Challenge um, I think, accepted. I think we got some down here. Right? Oh, you guys, this is why you tune in. <laughs> I think we do. It is so exciting. What is it? This is a reach B right no, here. That's a medium. No, no, right here, right here. Oh, sweet. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what, what we're working with here. Oh, so I shallow. I think, I think I can do this. Oh, it's so shallow. You're right. It's so shallow. Medium wow. flat rate is probably a, a better option. Yeah. And That's we'll, 13. We'll, we'll eat the dollar or whatever. I don't like to eat dollars. <laughs> we'll eat it. <laughs> I don't have a medium flat rate right here. Do you? Okay. All right. All right. Do you have a medium flat rate? Oh, you're just going to see how, how you can... Folding his little limbs. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, we are not scared of a little folding of the plush. Especially when we didn't charge enough shipping. this come on cheer bear oh that's my hair think thin don't 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 send my hair oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, thumbs up please y'all please okay. can we get the massive amount of thumbs up on the video we need this oh, man most people would edit this out i tell you oh no no this is this is good this is what's gonna get us all the views. We're good. This is our thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Okay. Woo, I'm sweating. Basketball. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so close. Uh oh, you're having a blowout. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of a blowout. I know, somebody's like, put a little hole in the bottom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
pulled my hair up. Oh. All right, I'm probably going to Screw it. This is me putting on pantyhose after I get out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. I still don't know if it's going to... We're still going to need the medium flat rate, probably. Oh, well, yeah, you're going to have to find one. <laughs> it does have some play, though, you know? I'll give you. <laughs> yes! Here we go, kids. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Oh. Look at that. You should just put a, put a wave on. <laughs> Call it a day. in a shoe box. No, no. No? No. And do you think we can? I don't think we can compress it down far enough to go into this. All right. I mean, I kind of believe in you, though. This is my Iowa. I think we tape could come in This is silly. Or is it genius? Silly genius? Silly, silly. No, I mean, there's... Okay, we're doing too much work for a dollar, I right? Know. The medium flat rate's a little taller? Yes, yes. Okay, climb on up there, Spider-Man. Oh. oh, hey, you don't have to go getting violent. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, all right. What do we got? What are we working with here? So these are all regional rate bees. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Medium flat rate. Let me see how heavy this is. This is a medium thing. flat rate. Okay, let's just see how heavy it is because maybe, you know. Oh. It's only two, almost three pounds. I don't know if the flat rate is, you know, I, they always say uh, they. The people on the internet say a flat rate is never cheaper because you can't put enough weight in it to make up for the price difference. This is bigger. <laughs> this is a little bit taller. I wish I was a little bit taller. Uh -huh. Okay, I think we should try our own box. I'm oh. telling you, the internet has told me okay. flat rates are never advantageous. Okay, all right. Remember that guy that put steel in one? Yep. So this is 12 and a quarter by 10 and a half by five and a half. So we need bigger than that. Okay. So like a 13 or four, like a 14 by 12 by eight or something. Try this guy right here. I got a 13 by 11 and a half by 9. Looks good. Oh, but see that 13 might kill our shipping. Isn't it like 12 inches like cheaper? No, because the 11 and a half by 9 makes it under a, a cubic foot. Who knew it would take us as long to wrap dang Care Bear? I did as soon as I went out to grab it. It was, it, like, oh. it was I, we had listed it so long ago, I did not remember how huge it was. To be fair. Huge. Huge. It did say jumbo in the title, but I did not believe my jumbo description as jumbo is jumboed. All right. We got a friend in here. This looks too big. I mean, see what I'm saying? Yeah, but at this point, what's, yeah. the, what's the extra inch going to gonna cost? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? You sure are. All right, here you go. Write it down. 13 by 11 and a half by 9. Now this sucker weighs three pounds and seven ounces. Wow, Yay. it weighs a lot more than it did in that reach box. Ooh, big heavy box. Do you want to check it? Um, the rate, you mean? I mean, the rate's going to go to four pounds. As long as it goes over three, it's going to go to four pounds, you see? But the other weight, the other one we were doing, it was under three pounds. So this was three, seven? Yeah. And 
13 by 11.5 by 9. Job sock. That's 11.20. We're good. Hmm. Love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Duffy. Bear. Sorry. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duffy Bear. Pirate plush. 17 inch Disney Parks. Disneyland. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's a lot of keywords. Where are he going? He is going to Sacramento, California. He's going home. <laughs> and I would like you to know that he sold for $53.95, which I'm super stoked about. We're he gonna, definitely needs a box. In, his own bo in our own box, though, because a regional is too expensive to California. Yeah. Because they only paid nine bucks. Yeah. Shipping. So we can put him in a, like a, how much is he in here? How old? Like 11 inches. Yeah. Probably squeezing down a little bit. 11 by 8 by 5. This might work just a little Yeah, that sounds too. good. Hey, box. Hey. This will help it, right? Yeah, I think uh, so. Oh, that box isn't that good, but it'll be fine. If you don't move this mind flex, sir. <laughs> Are you guys disappointed that he didn't have to shove this one? Give it time. Give it time. We need to re... Uh, what do you call it? Our boxes. Restock. Huh. Restock and re-measure. Yeah. yeah, we have a bunch of boxes. Oh, see. She just wait. She just waited for me. Okay. Is this too big? Nah. We'll see, just pop them in there and see. Oh yeah, it's okay. All right. All right, so it's 11 by eight by five and a quarter. According to what's printed on the inside of and the box. And we paid three ninety nine for this Duffy. It's a pretty good profit on a plush. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Oh, we're selling the heck out of Disney plush. The next one's a Disney plush too. Yeah. Something happening. So the theme of today is plush, specifically Disney, Disney plush. Okay. There you go. This might be under a pound. Oh, so close. I think we can get this under a pound. How much did they pay? I think. Eight, yeah, eight ninety nine. Oh, okay. So we yeah we got to do it um, expedited anyway. All right. All right. Disney Frozen 2 Bruni the Fire Spirit Salamander 9 inch purple mini plush new with tag. This sold for $13.45. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> but it is going to Puerto Rico. Yeah. So we will put it in a box. Yes. I will put it in a poly mailer and then we will put it in a box. Just took his little tail, put him in a little 4x4. Okay, he will go first class to Puerto Rico. Goodbye, friend. Have a good trip. Bring me back something French. Exactly. There's only nine offers to send out. Mm. It means our eBay store was not not on the good server. Not clicking, not chugging along. Normally there's about 50. Okay, five ounces. Yep. Peruvian connection size two Ventura cupped trousers, dusty rose, summer chino pants. I found these at the thrift. You did. We normally found Peruvian connection at state sales. Got these at the thrift. Really good condition. Really. You know, from the mm -hmm. tag. Yep. I'll show you now that I got them open. <laughs> Might as well show you. Might as well. This brand has a 100% sell-through rate for us in our store. This is the last thing we had of Proving Connection, and it has sold. Everything we've ever listed has sold. 
So not not for a um, huge amount of money. Okay, okay, it's not an Eskandar here. These sold for forty five bucks. Still happy still about pretty it. Pretty good. Still pretty good. It always they all sell around that you know forty fifty sixty dollar mark. Yeah. Pants, shirts, sweaters. They do make some like alpaca. Yes. Okay. The alpaca yes, stuff is. that's worth a little bit more. It's like what is that animal? <laughs> Looks like an alpaca. Looks like a llama. There we go. And we paid 99 cents for those. Sweet. Ayo! 14 ounces. Going first class to Texas. Diane, Vaughn, Furstenberg. We sold a big DVF yesterday. People tell you it won't sell. It does sell. It does. DVF, Aurora, sheath dress, women's size 2, mauve wine, holiday midi. Oh. Okay, friend, international It is to Canada. going to Canada. This sold for $18, and I'm going to tell you why. It is shrunk. Oh. I noted it. Okay. When you wear a size 2, like me, sometimes when things shrink, it's better. <laughs> and so it sold for $18. Noted. Uh, standard delivery to Canada. So I need a poly bag. Yeah, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so it's $18 it's to send something first class to Canada. 10 by 13. 10 by 13. Anything under a pound, we have charged $18. eBay has a shipping calculating chart. So they pay $18 and we pay $18. So it's... 15 ounces. Does that make sense? Can you say it better than me? Um, I don't know, not really. Okay. Okay, and the Eileen mean, Fisher pants we touched yesterday and almost sent to the wrong person. Would not be a shipping video without some Eileen Fisher <laughs> pants. And these are going to Australia. Dang. Yes. All right. Eileen Fisher women's petite, medium, slouchy, 100% silk, Georgette ankle gray pull-on pant. And they sold for $38. And normally we get more for Eileen Fisher pants. I don't know why. I also, took an offer for $38. 10 by 13. Eight ounces. Eight ounces. All right. Thank you. We're still need to clean. Yeah. More of our office. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. There is a lot more room for activity, so I will tell you that. That is absolutely true. I just have this sneaking suspicion we didn't meet our goal today. Always at the end of the month, I'm like super, you know cognizant of it. It's 4.33. We're going to make it to the post office on time. Okay. 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 We do have a self-scan at our post office, which is great. If we happen to miss the 5 o'clock, you know, the inside closing. <clears throat> Lots of international, so we have to be very careful. Yeah, and this one I have to edit the address on the. Where are we going? <clears throat> Too many characters in his address line. But, like, what if go. that's his actual address? No, no, it was like stupid stuff that was duplicated. No, I see. Okay, that's the five ounces. Okay. So if you're using the bulk shipping tool and you have international orders, eBay International, not global shipping, eBay International, it prints out at the end. So you have to be very careful not to switchity, switch, shoopity, shoopity your labels. Right. Okay. Okay, that's why we do a triple check system here. Try not to distract him. This is sponsored by Java Sock. It's not. Pumpkin spice latte came out today. No, I have not partaken, but I just wanted you to know I can't have it. Thank <clears throat> you. 
Okay, labels are here. Download and print. Here we go. Uh, first up is the Vertigo white ruffle sleeve top thing. Ugh. I'm glad it's going to a new home. Not glad that I just lost a bunch of money on it, probably. Maybe I broke even. Maybe. Uh, the Laurel Piano Pants. You want to be friends with this person, I can just tell. <laughs> East 87, huh? Here you go. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you can tell by their name that I want to be friends with them. Yep. Okay, next up is the Herod's Bear. Yeah, he's in a little box. Oh. <clears throat> Dojo jeans. The Doge. The Care Bear. Um, just give me one moment, please. Okay. Where did those stickers go? Oh, right there. I was just gonna, you know. Reinforce. Okay. I need to do it on the other one. Hold okay. On. I'll be able to sleep at night. Thinking they're gonna pop open. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was it? What did I say? Dojos? No. Okay. You said dojos. We did yeah, those. Care Bear. Care Bear Stare. Make sure if you get labels, labels. The boxes from your neighbors and there's no sneaky it happened to us mm -hmm. they sent it right back to our neighbor or to us one of the two happened i can't remember okay this is the duffy <coughs> bear. so much plush is that duffy i didn't even read it yes it is okay This is why we sell plush, because look, we sold four plush today, so if we weren't selling plush, we would only sold six things. Or do we sell five plush? Anyway, it helps us out on slow sales days. Peruvian connection. The DVF dress. We're going to go run this stuff to the post office, and as promised, I'm going to go try to get some footage of the Jeremy and the picnic, yes. and then we'll see how much money we actually made on all this stuff. As promised, here's Jeremy doing what he does, sleeping. Oh my god. And the little one catching some Z's next to her favorite blanket. Hey. Not amused. Alright, I'm gonna go run these packages to the post office and then we'll be back to see how much profit we made. You excited about the profit? Good boy. Oh. Okay, hi. Hi. Okay. How we sold we do? 10 things today, $459 in sales, and only, but still, $203.52 in profit. Wait, 400 and how much in 59. sales? Dang. That's, yeah. a, that's a gnarly chunk out of that. 
in fees and promotions and promotions shipping. uh the cost of goods was higher on a lot of these from the estate sales okay yeah Oof. we still did meet our daily goal just barely just barely though uh and then for the month we are running yeah where's that put us five seven five two so we need to make two fifty about two fifty tomorrow okay okay our store is dead right now, yes. so we're going to try to revive it. Uh, I've already relisted some things for today, so that didn't help. Uh, we're going to reset our promotions. Yep. They're crazy. They're still crazy. Yeah, they're like they're 13 or 14%. Ouch. E anyway, join us tonight. We'll be listing more things. Yay. Guys, thanks for hanging out. We appreciate it. And like Amy said, catch up with us later tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live listing on eBay on the other channel. Link to that channel in the description down below. Bye. Bye.